into a little bit and now I'm going to the new crazy phenomenon called New Metal. A great band called Ballistic. Let's hear what they're doing, yeah? Warum nicht? Let's go through some of the songs. What are they? This is a song we got, it's called Shit Fan. Okay, great. That shit sounds really Yeah, cool. it's a song about uh, a situation where the shit just hit the fan. <laughs> and I, I didn't want to call, I didn't want to call this... Uh, it, the, you know the expression, the shit's gonna hit the fan? You ch did a shit on a fan? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't actually shit on a fan. Okay, right. There's an expression. But that, that would be crazy yeah. if you did. And how do you sing the shit fan bit? It's more like, shit, fan, shit, fan! Kind of like that, like very... <clears throat> I'm just thinking, you know, who are the people who buy records? Uh, it's nine-year-old girls. Majority, and yeah. yeah. Do I gotta ask you this question? Do nine-year-old girls wanna buy songs called "Shit Fan" I don't or think so. "Prick"? I don't uh, think so. Would you be prepared to change the name of "Shit Fan" to "Ship Fan"? You know, shoot it on a ship, maybe in the Caribbean. Loads of pretty girls, and make it about I don't know, fan, some fans, some lady fans of yours. Who are on the sh on the ship? No, <laughs> no. And this, your name, ballistic. How you come up with that name? We were thinking of the name statistic for some reason. Right, that's cool. And she just said, "Man, fuck you guys. Just call yourselves ballistic." And we're like, "No, what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's what? not bad." What about calling yourselves terrific? No. And like, <laughs> but the catch line would be, "And these guys are." terrific and then there would be a like playing with the words terrific because that would be the name of your band and also you'll be saying that the band is terrific do you understand so oh, you, you the, the, the band would be called terrific but you're also saying they are terrific no no we'd never change that either especially the name in austria our channel is organizing something for very cool charities for mm -hmm. deaf kids mm -hmm. right we got Enrico Inglatius coming, we got the Dixie Chicks, and we got Huey Lewis in the news. Do you want to join them? I don't think it would fit in. It would be crazy though. Oh, it would be crazy, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, it's these kids, uh, you don't feel sick when you look at them. They are like, all right, they don't have like weird hands, I yeah, don't think. No, no, that's They're not, just deaf. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we wouldn't fit in with the type of music that would be playing that at that concert. What about if we kept the kids right out of this? You didn't even have to look at them. You didn't have to shake their hands. No, you didn't no, even no, have no, to no, speak no. to them. No, no, no. Not even, you know, just keep them out. No, you don't keep understand. Keep the fucking kids away. No, you don't, you don't understand. The kids would probably be one of the main reasons that we, that we would do it. <laughs> Alan from the band Kill Factor. I'm here with a crazy guy called Alan. He's from a band called Kill Factor, which is a metal band. How's it going? I'm pretty crazy. Check us out. Kill Factor coming out towards you. Why do you think it's cooler to be dead than alive? Well, dead. I mean, dead you can do anything you want. Right. Alive. That's super cool. Alive you got your restrictions. You know, alive I'm right here. You know, I'm, I'm still in the U.S. I'm doing nothing. You know, I'm playing music and I'm not... I, I want to be on top of the world. Dead, I'm on top of the world. I do what I want. That's very cool. I like yeah. that feeling. I got one problem and I want to say this. It's a name. Name. Why don't you change the name from Kill Factor to Cool Factor? <laughs> cool Factor. Uh, no, I don't think that'll be happening. We're not trying to be cool. That's not what we're trying to be. We're not trying to well, be. What about like, the cool guys? <laughs> cool guys. Um, no, I don't think that'd work either. That it just we don't not cool. We're not trying to be cool. You know, we're not trying to go out there on stage and go, hey, how you doing? You know, we're trying to go out there and just tear everybody new asshole and fucking. Okay, rock well, what shit. about a crazy name like I don't know, Funky Face? Because we have Kill Factor, we're known as Kill Factor. That's what people know us as. But if you call yourself Funky Face, then you not only get your fans, you might lose one or two of them, but you'd get a whole lot of new ones who want to see a band that have got a funky face. <laughs> they might, but, you know, it's f we're, we're, we can't take that risk, you know? 
Do you think if you change the Bible stories, maybe you would get people more easy to relate to them? I don't think you need to change anything, bro. But if you had, instead of the fish story, did it about sushi, or you did, you know, instead of the giving out bread, you did something which had a, an alter a no-carb alternative or something without gluten, then people could relate to it and jump in and say, yes, this is mine, I can, this is one that I can yeah, you know, zusammen. It's like, yeah, the Bible is, it was written a long time ago and sometimes it's hard to understand. And is this uh, Christian rock, is it gay at all? Like, happy? What do you mean? No, gay, like, you know, the two men who like to enjoy each other and it's stupid. Ours is it. So, but the other stuff is there, like, many gay groups. You know what? I don't think I've ever met one. Do you have a message for Austria's gay community, please? I like women. I like my wife, and I like girls before her. So I, I've never been. Yes, but this I, is I don't not really help know. them. I've never. That's not. It's not a message for them to say that you like. You know what? I'm not gonna say what's right and wrong, but it's like you know in your heart, Jesus Christ loves you no matter what you've done. Also jetzt bin ich hier mit einem sehr schönen uh, Herr. What's your name? It's uh, Gregory Stamper. Great, it's a cool name. Thank you. How cool is Jesus? He is so cool that I just I can't put it into words. It brings me to tears to think about it. Is he cooler than the Backstreet Boys? Oh, there's no comparison. What about Justin Timberlake? Oh, there's. It's like comparing, you know, dirt and gold. There's, there's just no comparison. Is it cooler than Madonna? Way cooler. And what is the spiritual message of this music? You know, it, it's, it's hard to put your, your thumb on it, but it, secular music, so much of it, it just eats away at the soul of kids. Yes, uh, like the devil. Right, right. We know this. Who do you think is most the devil's music? Which artist? That's, that's really hard to say, but. Eminem. Yeah, it's, is, been all this, you know. yeah, he's pretty, pretty, has some pretty off the wall views. Do you think he is a friend with the devil? I would certainly think so. Who else do you think the devil influences musically? Oh, Marilyn Manson. Yes, this is very true. Yeah, um, that's just a that's a very disturbing. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just the whole thing is very disturbing. Uh, Do you think that it is Marilyn Manson or is it the incarnation of the devil on stage? Well, I think it's certainly Satan has taken taken hold of his God-given ability, which is yes. his music or what have you, and has used that for himself. With this devil's music, have you heard of the band Dirty Vagina? No, I haven't heard of them. They are Austrian bands. Mm -hmm. They do terrible things. They take a crucifix, they do a scheisse in a mold of a crucifix, they freeze it, and then on stage they put it up. They are Arsha. Mm -hmm. Does this happen with Eminem and the likes of him? Yeah, probably Marilyn Manson, I would think, would be the closest. I heard that Marilyn Manson did something like this. He did, I don't know if a scheisse, but I think he did spunken in the mold of a crucifix and drank it and then uh, spat it into and kissed actually the devil on stage and let him suck the spunken from his mouth. Mm, that's terrible. It's terrible. How do people like Eminem force children to buy their music? It's not like one day someone comes up to you and you say, do you want to be sat satanic or do you want to worship Satan? It's a process. Yes. You know, they feed There's it. a big difference between right. these two. They feed it to you a little at a time and it's like one day you know, you're caught up into something you never would have just walked into. Day one, Eminem. Day two, raping a child. Right. Give a message to Austria's gay community now. I think that uh, no matter what your affiliation, no matter what, there's always a way with Jesus Christ. And where did you grow to be so cute? Um... Uh, I guess I can give that to my parents. You just got such a nice 
Okay, what direction is this going in now? No, I'm just saying that it's great to know these things. Can I, like, hang out with you, like, the rest of the night? Come on out. Great, and we can maybe, like, dance and have some good times? Uh, I don't think so. I'll be going home to my wife, but, uh... Oh, okay, what, what time? Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Okay.